Hi guys, welcome to today's tutorial. Today's look is a very fresh looking skin, perfect for holidays, perfect for the summertime, and a little bit of a splash of colour as well on the lips. So I'm going to start off by prepping the skin, and I'm using MAC Prep and Prime Primer all over the face. So next we're on to foundation and I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid and that's in NW20. This is my favourite foundation and I'm using it as well with the MAC brush um, number 130. straight on to concealing now and I'm using the MAC Conceal Palette. This is a cream concealer and it's fantastic for a little bit extra coverage when you don't want you know, such a heavy looking skin for daytime. And I'm just applying this all over my eyes, just around my nose, any redness, any blemishes. And then just get your foundation brush and just buff out all those areas again. So next I'm going to contour and I'm using my favourite contour blusher from MAC, it's Baby Don't Go. This is fantastic just for a slight little bit of contouring on the cheeks. Moving on then to blusher and I'm using a big fluffy brush for the blusher, I don't want it too precise. And the blusher is Fleur Power. Next a little bit of highlighting just on underneath the eyes and up towards the top of the ear. And this is the Prep and Prime Radiance um, Stick, Radiance Rose. Just apply it on like so, use your concealer brush and just dab it in and then just with the pads of your finger just gently rub it into the skin. So instantly this gives a really really bright looking skin. Next I'm just going to use soft and gentle, it's a mineralized powder from MAC so it gives a really really good highlight and I've just applied that just on the upper part of my cheeks. Tiny little bit of contouring now again, the forehead and the chin area, just with some bronzer. Just a little bit of concealer there again on my nose just to give it a highlight. So we're moving on to the eyes now and I'm just using um, vanilla just all over the socket and right up to the brow bone. So next you can pick up some white frost, it's a really really white looking pigment of um, an eyeshadow and I'm just applying that on the lower socket. So next I'm going to go back to my blusher that I had, Baby Don't Go, and I'm using my 217 brush from MAC and I'm just sweeping this in along my upper socket. It's more of a transition colour so you can just build it as you go. Up a tiny little bit right underneath the eyes and then I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and I'm going to add a little bit of just a bronzer a normal bronzer that you use for every day and apply that just right in the socket line just to give it a little bit more definition take it all the way into the inner eye again this is going to be used underneath the eye Any little bits that you need to buff out, you can do so again with your 217. White eyeliner is next, and this is the Urban Decay one, so I'm just applying it on the inner waterline and on top as well. Adding a little bit of nylon to the inner eye and onto eyeliner. Now this eyeliner is fabulous, it's eye defined liquid, really really easy to use and it stays on so so well. It's by a company called Kaylin, um, just found those recently and fantastic. I'll have all the links anyway below for you. So 
once your eyeliner is perfected, you can move on to your lashes. And I'm just going to curl them first. And then apply my mascara. So a nice kind of heavy mascara is what I would go for for this look. To just to really darken them. And I'm applying my, my mascara just on the top. I'm going to stay away from the bottom lashes. Next onto the brows and I'm going to use a brow um, pencil from MAC and this is Lingering. Really really easy to use product as well and it just gives more of a natural look to the brows. So onto my lip liner and I'm using Flesh from Fuchsia. Love this lip liner. I'm applying this all over the lip. And then I'm going to use Vegas Vault from MAC on my lips, which is just such a wow colour, it's gorgeous. Perfect for summer. And there you go. I hope you liked this video. And if you'd like to leave any comments below, please do so and I'll get back to you. And I would love if you would subscribe. Okay, thanks a million. Bye.